Hello all, in today's video we are going to look into an another application program called as Telnet which provides us remote login facility. What is remote login? Remote login is a process in which user can log in to a remote site computer and use the services available on the remote computer. What is local login? If you are logging in to a system which is local, then you will call it as local login. Remote logging is if you are trying to log in to a system at a remote place, at a far off place, just like a student sitting at home would like to connect to a computer in its university, then you call it as remote login. What is the purpose of remote login? Because you would like to use the services available on that remote computer and transfer the results from that remote computer to your local computer. That is the purpose of remote login. This remote login can be implemented using a general purpose client server application program called as Telnet. Telnet has got its name from the words terminal network. That means in a, on a network we are trying to connect the terminals so it is Telnet. Basically, Telnet will establish a connection to a remote system such that the remote system appears to be local to the user. So, it creates a illusion to the user as if the remote system is local. It does it by using a interface. So, basically, Telnet provides an interface between the local terminal and the remote terminal. It makes use of an interface called the Network Virtual Terminal, NVT Character Set. What is the purpose of this NVT Character Set? Here, the client will have its own representation of characters. So, it makes use of the interface called as NVT, which will transform the sequence of characters at the client side into the NVT form. And this is being given to the server where it will take the NVT character set and it will again convert it into its own form. This is done by the client program, Telnet client program at the client side and the server Telnet program at the server side. Let us understand this. This is local login. If you have a terminal which wants to log into a computer which is local, then the terminal will, the keystrokes typed from the terminal are being a sequence of characters are being taken by the terminal driver and they are being passed on to the operating system. The operating system will interpret the characters which are being typed in and by interpreting the characters it will give the access to the available application program. But in case of remote login, you can see I will have a Telnet client program and a Telnet server program wherein the local terminal will the character set or the commands or the data which is being typed will be taken by the terminal driver. This terminal driver will pass on the information to the operating system. The operating system will not interpret on its own, rather it will pass on the characters to the terminal network that is the telnet client program this telnet client program will convert the character set into the nvt form it is being converted into the network virtual terminal character form and being given to the tcp ip protocol stack so that it could be transmitted over the internet once it is being received at the remote computer or at the server side, we have a Telnet server program running at the server side where from the TCP IP protocol set, this character set is being given not directly to the operating system but is being given to the Telnet server. The Telnet server will now convert the NVT character form into the form suitable for the server program or the for the remote computer. And that will be given not directly to the operating system but will be given to a pseudo terminal driver. This pseudo terminal driver will give the character set to the operating system and then the operating system will give the 
allotted application program for that particular character set. So this is how a local terminal will log in to the remote computer using the telnet client server program. You can see what is the concept of NVT that is network virtual terminal. We have a terminal, the local terminal which will have its local computer character set. The telnet client will convert it into NVT character set to be because you know over the internet it has to be uh, unique and global. So it is being converted into a NVT character set form which is allowed or which is accepted by the internet and then again it is being given to the telnet server. At the telnet server the NVT character set is again converted into remote computer character set and it is being given to the pseudo terminal driver at the server side and from here it will go to the operating system and the operating system will invoke the appropriate application program requested by the local terminal on the remote computer. So this is about telnet a client server application program for providing remote logging. Thank you.